So you want to get started in tech, but you aren't sure whether you should pick cybersecurity or data science. Well, today you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the differences between the two fields so that by the end of it, you know exactly which field is right for you. And make sure you stick around till the very end because I'll be talking about salary in the two fields. I'm Saman there, a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. Today, we'll compare the fields of cybersecurity security and data science in four categories. Firstly, we'll talk about the scope of the two fields. Then we'll move on to the different types of roles that are available to you, followed by a discussion on the types of education and degrees you should be doing to enter any of the fields. And finally, we'll talk a little bit about the salaries in the two fields. Firstly, let's talk about the scope of the two fields, starting off with cyber security. Cyber security deals with all the aspects of preventing cyber threats at companies. As more of the world is going digital, the rate of cyber threats is growing exponentially. By 2025, cyber crime is estimated to cost businesses more than $10.5 trillion. And based on this, there's a great demand for cybersecurity professionals to protect companies, assets, and people from cyber threat. In just Australia, the cybersecurity industry is growing at an astounding 8.3% every single year. The global growth rate for cybersecurity industry sits at 9.6%. So I think it's safe to say that there's plenty of jobs around for cybersecurity professionals. Now let's talk about data science. So data science is a field where you're using data to solve key business problems for companies. Similar to cybersecurity, as more companies become digital, the rate of the data that they're generating is increasing drastically. And accordingly, there's a greater need to unlock insights from this data that can benefit organizations in a positive way. The annual growth rate for jobs in the data science industry is steady at about 5%. Meanwhile, the size of the data science platform industry is due to triple in five years. So I think you can rest assured that there's big scope for professions in both industries. If you're enjoying the video so far, then consider subscribing. I make videos to demystify data science and the tech world at large. Now let's talk about the specific types of roles that you would engage in in either fields. And let's talk about cybersecurity to begin with. In cybersecurity, there's a wide variety of roles such as a security analyst, a security engineer, ethical hackers, or a cybersecurity consultant. As a security analyst, you'll be responsible for external and internal security audits for your company's IT system. And you're responsible for proactively identifying any security threats that your company is vulnerable to. You'll also ensure that all the systems are up to date. As a security engineer, your responsibility is to code and implement security solutions to make sure that your company is not susceptible to any of these threats. Security engineers are typically expected to have pretty good coding skills. They would be expected to be proficient in languages like Python, Java, or C++. Security consultants do the same job as a security analyst or a security engineer, but just for another company. Finally, ethical hackers are white hackers that are hired by companies to test their security systems identify any vulnerabilities and provide a list of suggested solutions to rectify those issues. Similar to cybersecurity, there's a wide variety of roles in data science, such as the data analyst, data scientist, machine learning engineer, and data engineers. So data analysts would be typically responsible for analyzing and extracting insights from data sources. They'll also be expected to make recommendations as to what business value can be extracted from a given data insights or how to turn these insights into actionable business items. Data engineers are typically responsible for building the tools required to analyze and clean data sets. They would typically be expected to be quite technical and be proficient in languages like Python. Typically, data engineers will have a very similar skill sets 
to software engineers. Data scientists are typically a mix of data analysts and data engineers. They're usually quite proficient in Python, have a good grasp of extracting business value from data, but they're also very good communicators because they usually sit between the business and the tech organization. Data scientists are usually different compared to a data analyst and data engineer in the sense that they also are pretty proficient at modeling. Data scientists are usually expected to have a good grasp of the different types of tree-based and deep learning models out there and how to use them to extract business value or to achieve some sort of a business outcome. As for machine learning engineers, they're usually very proficient at building machine learning models, but also the pipelines used to productionize these machine learning models and make sure that they run reliably as part of a bigger data product. So they're expected to be very good at tuning models, doing research ML type tasks to make sure that ML models are as optimized as they can be. I've made a range of videos talking about the different data science roles so I'll be sure to link them in the description below so make sure to check it out if you're interested in any one of these roles. Now that you know what are the types of roles available in the true profession, so what exactly do you need to study to get into the field of cybersecurity? or data science. Firstly, for cybersecurity, the best way to get started is to study either a Bachelor of IT or a Bachelor of Computer Science specializing in cybersecurity. Whilst you will specialize in cybersecurity, you'll also get a generalized computer science and software engineering degree, which gives you a whole range of options to choose from after you graduate. If you already have a bachelor's degree or you're considering switching into this career, I would recommend studying a Master of Cybersecurity, although with this option, be sure that you check out the prerequisites for the degree because if you're switching from a very non-technical degree to this technical degree you might require some prerequisites that you can probably learn on the side or through doing a diploma that then qualifies you for this master's degree. For data science as an undergrad, your best bet is to study a Bachelor of Computer Science with a specialization in data science. This way, you'll be exposed to a whole variety of AI subjects as well as software engineering subjects which will give you a good foundation and a mix of modeling and engineering skills to make a strong start as a data science professional. And if you've already got a bachelor's degree, then I'd recommend doing a master of data science degrees. These degrees in the last few years have become pretty good as a way to change careers into data science. Now on this channel, I've thoroughly talked about all the different types of bachelor's and master's degree available to you if you want to study in Australia. So make sure you check those videos out if you wanna learn more about the types of options available to you. Finally, the most away section of this video, let's talk a little bit about the different types of salaries that cybersecurity professionals can earn versus data science professionals. Here are all the numbers for the cybersecurity roles and here are the numbers for the data science roles. So overall, professionals in both fields are quite well paid. So I don't think salary alone will be the reason you pick either of the fields. I think you should definitely focus on what are the different types of subjects you'll be doing in either of the fields, whether it be cybersecurity or data science. And the best way to experiment is to maybe do some online courses in cybersecurity or data science on Coursera, Udemy, uh, edX, there's a whole range of platforms out there. And if you're still in university, I would recommend exploring doing some electives. And if you're currently a professional looking to switch into these fields, then online courses are the best bets for you. So that's it for the video. Hopefully you know a little bit more about cybersecurity and and data science and hopefully you have some more information to pick the right option for you. So if you enjoyed the video then hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.